welcome to today's video. Today we're going to run through the process of ordering, configuring a code signing certificate for use on Microsoft Azure Key Vault. Um, this tutorial can be used for a DigiCert or VeraKey certificate. So we're just going to order a certificate now on the SSL Trust webpage. We've got the VeraKey ones and the DigiCert ones. We're just going to order a standard VeraKey code signing certificate. Now you'll see over here the provisioning method. You can select to use it on an existing USB token, new USB e-token, or the HSM. Today we're going to select the existing HSM, which is what we need to install our certificate onto Microsoft Azure Key Vault. So we'll select that, select how many years we need, and add to cart. So we'll just run through the checkout process enter your details or log in if you've already got an account with us and continue. Now I've already got an order here that I've uh, placed so I'll go to my SSL Trust account, the My Services and find my new code signing certificate that I've ordered and click Manage. Now here's the code signing product page. Now from here we'll submit certificate configuration and we'll come to the configuration page. Now on this page, the configuration, we will need to select the correct provisioning method. Make sure install on HSM is selected. And the token method here, we'll just select the last one, the FIPS 140-2. This is compatible with the Microsoft Azure Key Vault. Now if you scroll down a bit, you will see the CSR field. So this is what we need to create, a certificate signing request. So we'll go to the Microsoft portal, Azure, Azure portal. Now I don't have a key vault created, so I'll create one now, just to quickly run through the process. And a few things that you may need to create, make sure you've got created on your key vault. Okay. So we'll just select the options here, enter a key vault name. Okay, now the pricing tier. We need to make sure we've got the premium pricing tier selected as the standard will not be compatible for HSM backed devices keys. So with that selected, we can continue through. You may need to go through the other options by clicking next, but we're just going to do a quick one here and provision this new key vault. Okay, so that's initializing. Here we go, deployment in progress. This can take a few minutes. Okay, that's there, it looks like it's created, completed. So we'll go into our new key vault or the one that you've already got created. Now we need to generate a private key and a certificate sign request. So on the left hand menu, we'll go to objects and we'll select the certificate option here and you'll see a new button to generate import so we'll click that and we'll come to the page make sure generate is selected it should be pre-selected now we just need to enter a certificate name now we need to select here the issued by non-integrated CA for the type of certificate authority and enter a subject name this won't actually be used on the issued certificate by the civic authority, so it's just for naming here. Some of these fields like the DNS names you can ignore and just leave these uh, pre-selected fields. Now the advanced policy configuration, we will need to enter an extended key usage here, one that is for actual code signing certificates. I'll leave the, this value here in the written description and the uh, written guide, so you can copy paste it. Now we just need to make sure the exportable private key no is selected, because this will again then enable the HSM options. I'm just going to select RSA HSM. Now that does have a uh, minimum private key size, so we'll select 4096, which is the minimum key size for RSA code signing certificates. And once that's all good, we'll create our new certificate request. Okay, so that's just provisioning in progress. 
Okay, now with that created, we'll uh, click into it. Now you will see up here an option for certificate operations. So we'll just go into this and here you'll see a download CR, CSR option here. So what we want to do is just click that and this will download our new CSR to our local computer. Okay, I've downloaded that and I've opened that in a text editor. You'll just see the PEM formatted CSR here. So we want to copy the entire contents here and go back to our SSL Trust configuration page and paste that into the CSR field. And that's verified and all good. Now the server platform here, this won't actually make a difference on the certificate issued, so we'll just select other here and we'll continue through to the next step. Now we've got the organization details. So a code sign certificate, the standard one, can be uh, issued for a organization or an individual. So if you've if you're issuing it for an individual, enter your obviously your individual name here and details. For an organization, enter all your legal name, address, and phone number and make sure they are correct. We've already got a pre-validated organization here, so I'm just going to select that now to speed up the process. And click next. Now we've got the contact details. So the organization admin contact. This is going to be the contact that the verification team will contact to make sure that the organization is wanting code signing certificates and is approving all this. And then we've got the verified contact. This verified contact, they will approve the order or future orders for this organization. So you can have the same person or multiple different people. Now the technical contact here, this one's important. This person will actually receive um, the HSM uh, approval email to make sure that you're using a approved HSM. So make sure this contact has an email address you can uh, you can access. So we'll just submit the configuration. And here we go. So that's all submitted. Organization is already validated. This will place a processing or pending for you if you've, you're doing a new organization. And we've got just all the submitted details here. So this looks all good. Okay, now here's an email I've received to approve the order because I was put down as the verified contact. So I'm just going to copy that URL, put in my browser, go to this page and approve the order for the organization. And that's done. Now the technical contact would have also received the HSM private key approval email, which is here. So again, I'm just going to get that link in that email, copy it, and go to that page. <coughs> okay, so this is pretty much just an agreement to say that the HSM you are using it meets all the requirements, um, make sure it's secure, you can't export the private key, and yeah. So Microsoft Azure Vault does meet all these requirements. So we'll just go ahead and sign all this. Yep, I agree, and continue. Okay, now with that um, agreed and approved, your certificate will be issued now. Can take a few minutes sometimes. We'll just go back to the validation manager, and we'll just give this a refresh. And there you go, it's issued. Perfect. Okay, so we'll just go back to our SSL Trust account, and we'll just refresh the page here. And now, there we go, certificate issued. And we've got a new button there to create, collect, certificate. So we'll just click that. And here are our certificates. So we've got our end issued one and intermediate ones, which we both need in a single file. So we'll just up here, we can download a single PEM file containing all the certificates, except for the root certificate. Um, generally, you won't need the root certificate because it will already be on the servers and everyone's devices. Okay, I've downloaded that. And we'll go back to our Azure Key Vault. And here is our Azure Key Vault and the certificate. If this window isn't open, obviously we can come back to it 
through, through the certificate operations and you'll see the option to merge the request. Okay, so I'll select that file, the certificates I've downloaded and I've imported it and merged. And that is it. So we've you now imported that certificate that's merged with the private key that was already generated and your code sign certificate is now ready to be signing. And you'll see here all enabled and ready to go. Now we'll follow up in some other tutorials on how to actually do code signing uh, with your new certificate. And thanks for watching.